C63 AMG. Beautiful isn't it? A millennial icon burned into our memory because of its awesome bi-turbo V8 that exuded the raw power of German engineering all while being wrapped in elegant exterior fashion. Undoubtedly one of the most desirable cars for anyone who is a fan of European muscle. Thanks to this car and some of its siblings like the E63, the SLS and the GT, Mercedes was going to be cool forever. At least that's what we thought. If you haven't already heard Mercedes has just announced that they are killing off 19 models in their lineup. Okay well that's not bad right there will still be 14 models to choose from. Well unfortunately several top managers in Unterterkeim and Sindelfingen said that they believe that coupes and convertibles have an uncertain future, or no future at all. The C-Class and E-Class coupes and convertibles will cease to exist sometime between 2023 and 2024, to be replaced by a pair of two-door CLE-Class models. Current coupe-like SUVs and sedans aren't long for this world either reports stated. The CLS class will depart in 2024 after over a decade of being a fan favorite, and the sharper AMG GT four-door will follow along in 2024 or 2025 despite it being a massive hit with enthusiasts. New generations of GLE and GLC coupes will debut in the coming years, but after that, their lineages will also end. As boring cookie-cutter electric crossovers and SUVs continue to take over the market resulting in many body styles being phased out one by one and Mercedes plans to do so with their wagons. Since 1978 Benz has produced station wagons starting with the 280T way back in the 80s and has continued this heritage throughout the years with unique performance-oriented shooting brakes like the elusive CM, S wagon and the E63. The death bell for Mercedes wagons began ringing last year in September when company CEO Marcus Schaefer discussed the dwindling appeal and market for wagons at a time when automakers are also spending billions to transition to electric vehicles. Allocating money to design, develop, and build new wagons for a shrinking customer base isn't easy to justify. The dominoes will start to fall with the CLA shooting brake, which will disappear from the Mercedes lineup for the 2025 model year, with no successor plan. A future generation E-Class, which will allegedly arrive in 2030, won't offer a wagon variant either, according to the report. Mercedes introduced the latest generation C-Class with a traditional wagon model, also offering a high-riding all-terrain version that's only available in Europe. But who knows how long those will survive. If you're interested in why wagons have become so unappealing to the general consumer base we covered that in another video. Mercedes has announced publicly that they will be giving their performance division of vehicles more attention in the coming years since more exclusive corners of the brand will be prioritized going forward. We can expect to see a greater focus on sport models, as well as Maybach. There is even talk of an ultra ritzy V-Class van. The wildest creations though, will come from the new Mythos series of hyper-expensive collectibles. There are some very intriguing propositions here, including a gullwing reincarnation reminiscent of the SLS, a four-door G-Class pickup truck, and a sporty roadster based on the SL. So Mercedes has completely lost it, right? Well despite these lofty announcements this doesn't really satisfy the core fanbase that really gave Benz their name and these projected one-offs are not what anyone really asked for. AMG has built some of the world's most ludicrous performance vehicles over the past few decades, characterized by two types of engine, the V8 and V12, with various power units seeing use including a 5.5 V8, the iconic 6.3 V8, and the smooth 6.5 V12. These were dropped into everything from the C-Class all the way up to the G-Wagon. AMG truly turned Mercedes luxury cars into slices of European muscle. However roughly a decade ago as all gearheads know the great downsizing began. The most radical move of the Mercedes-Benz brand came with the A45 AMG, powered by a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine. This was the smallest engine under the AMG brand. Now fast forward to 2023 we've already seen the last of the V8 C63s be delivered and are currently bidding farewell to the 8-cylinder E63 as it will also be converted to a hybridized powertrain next year as well. Yes these new lower cylinder options are admittedly much quicker and fuel efficient but they take away from what really made AMG's great. Many die-hard fans are concerned with the sound, as well as the overall feel. So of course now everyone is asking the question, why is Mercedes being so blasphemous? The logic has to do with the brand's new understanding of luxury. An unnamed senior executive of Mercedes marketing strategies team explained to the press, at the end of the day, we simply don't need estate cars or underperforming two-door offerings to boost volumes. The most essential elements of sustainable contemporary luxury cars are space and time. That's our number one priority, not another fancy body style, a model that only works in Europe, or one last stab at a dying segment. That last statement about a last stab but a dying segment could definitely be interpreted as a sneak diss to AMG performance fans and all car enthusiasts alike, more or less saying Mercedes just doesn't care. So while Mercedes is in conclusion making these drastic changes to their image in hopes of boosting profit margins they may ironically have set themselves up for failure as many lifetime customers have already begun to switch to brands such as BMW and Audi who are still willing to give their clientele what they want. 
Thanks for watching. So what do you guys think? Could this be the end of Mercedes-Benz's legendary run in the automotive world or will their new strategy bring results? We would love to hear your opinion down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more high quality content just like this.